It's called the Firefighters Retention Act of 2017. Right now, fire departments can only use safer grants to hire and train new firefighters. But Senator Gary Peters wants to change the rules so fire departments can promote part-timers to full-time. He says fire chiefs across the state asked for the change. It didn't make a whole lot of sense uh, that they were not able to hire part-time firefighters that worked uh, in the agency. They had to bring in someone new, even though they had a part-time firefighter who was fully trained. Previously, FEMA allowed fire departments to use the grant money to retain jobs, which allowed the city of Saginaw to earn the grant twice. Without it, our workforce will downsize. And, you know, there's, there's obviously impacts to the community with that. Right now, Saginaw is waiting to hear about its third application. In the meantime, all options are on the table as they prepare for possible cuts. If the grant doesn't come through, one idea is hiring part-timers. Senator Peters' legislation could help the city and beyond. You know, anything that helps our neighboring departments certainly would help us. Van Lu is talking about mutual aid. When a fire happens, many times neighboring departments will help, but many mid-Michigan departments are volunteer, paid on call, or part-time and have a hard time filling those positions. Well, this is a way for, for us to help uh, those departments who are doing all the right things but still fall short because they simply don't have the tax base to provide the kind of firefighter protection that people believe are necessary. The Firefighters Retention Act has passed a Senate committee. It still needs to go through the full Senate and House before it becomes law. Senator Peters is hopeful it will be on the books in the next few months.